Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to Sunday Night Live, except it's more like Sunday Afternoon Live. Um, here we are. And uh, we're gonna be making a few things tonight. I'm gonna show you the secret um, recipe um, for Texas Roadhouse. And then also, um, I'll be making a little adult beverage, and um, it's going to be mimosas, but I got a little thing. And then I also have another drink that one of my friends gave to me that I just want to show you. So, it, I think it's going to be fun. And then um, I'm also making those smashed um, um, Parmesan potatoes, as well as showing you how to do it also with the Brussels sprouts, and then showing you how to make that mix into a bread dip. So um, that is a lot. And then if we have time, we might do a dessert. And if I run out of time, I might go over to my own channel, which you can go and follow me at October Dragonfly. Um, if you guys aren't already following Food Talk TV, give us a follow, give us some likes, show, share, the, share the live and share the love. And we appreciate each and every one of you. So my first thing that I have um, is a new phone. That was my, my big gift for Christmas this year. So, um, I am like in 4K now, so I don't know how that looks. So good luck. <laughs> uh, hi, Kaz, by the way. <laughs> Let me turn you up and figure out how to turn this up. Hey there. Hey, okay. Triple Dad. Yeah, we're in there. Hi, guys. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go over here and get my bacon out of the refrigerator. Um, Lane, where's my apron? The oven, not the refrigerator. Nobody caught it. Hi. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I already cooked it. I gotta find my oven mitts. My God, I don't know on the organiz organizer that I put next to the stove. Crazy. Hi everybody. Welcome to Food Talk TV. You're watching Christine. She is October Dragonfly. Wait, wait. You cook bacon in the oven? We didn't see it. Mm -hmm. No, because I have a lot to show you guys. So I wanted to go ahead and get this done. This is part of the charcuterie situation that I'm doing. So for us tonight, um, our New Year's Eve, um, our children are definitely staying home. I don't know what we're doing yet, but um, this is going to feed them for the next two days okay. <laughs> because they can also eat on the on the on the leftovers. So welcome okay. to Food Talk TV, all. 450 of you. I love it. So uh, uh, let me get started a little bit. The first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to get a bowl. And I already have some mixed in here. So I'm just adding to what I already had mixed. I'm going to be making the mixture that is going to go on my smashed potatoes um, and my Brussels sprouts. So let's get started with that. I'm going to lower the camera a little bit. So, or I can back it up. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out, so we'll Back see. Back it up, flip it, turn it down. Yeah, that's oh. what I'm saying. That's an old, that's an old one, Cass. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so here in a small bowl, yours would be empty, but I've already pre-made some of these, so I wanted to show you guys what I was doing. Um, let me go over here and get a measuring cup of some sort so you guys can have some measurements. So this is a fourth of a cup. So I, I would typically use two, but I'm just adding a fourth of a cup because I don't need that much more. So you would use half a cup. Okay. okay. So I'm just fixing that up. Um, then you're going to put in some onion right. powder. You guys tap the screen and give us a follow. What was that? Um, that was garlic powder and then some okay. onion powder, about a teaspoon to a tablespoon, just depends on your taste. So you're just gonna Sasha. measure with your heart on this one. Then um, the good old Italian seasoning. Everybody loves, loves them little ASMRs there. And um, I'm going to say probably, I would say a healthy dose of this. Like you definitely want to be over a tablespoon on this portion. Okay. Because, you know, you want to taste it. So about a tablespoon. So there you go. All right. So, so far we have um, onion, garlic, and Italian seasoning. And, and Parmesan. Some Parmesan cheese. Now, if you get the five cheese blend like I did, it's okay. <laughs> because we do food adventures at my house. <laughs> yes. okay. So we're just going to fork this up a little bit. You know, my favorite utensil is the fork. Just going to fork it up. Boy, everybody's lights these days are very, very bright. It is. Uh, the same thing was going on on um, Jesse's live. Yeah, it's 
I think it's because I have a common, usually I use just this light over here, but yeah, it's real bright. It's like ghosting me out, bro. And I think it's also the new camera is picking up some, yeah, turn that down. Bella Box, thank you for coming in. Yeah, that's way better. If it washes me out, you just let me know, Kaz. All right, so anyway, just give that a mix. You don't, you don't, it's not science, guys. Um, you don't need salt in here, but if you want to put some pepper or some red pepper flakes in there to spice it up a little bit, you absolutely can. All right, so I'm going to set this aside. I'm done with this. Lily, you can put all this stuff away. So that was super simple. And then the next thing I'm going to do is get this bowl. And I need to get a... You got, you got red potatoes, new red potatoes, and Brussels, Brussels sprouts there, right? But you can use any kind of potatoes that you want. It just needs to be the small round ones. And the reason is, is because you're going to cut them in half and you're trying to make it a bite size. Um, you can put these three things away. That would be so nice. And so I'm just going to cut them in half and I'll show you a little bit after I get it cut. So you want them like so that they are flat on one side. So that's all we're doing. So we're just cutting them in half. Um, this one has an issue, so we're going to cut her off. Just cut them in half and that's all we're going to do. So how's everybody doing today? And what are your guys' New Year's Eve plans? I would like to know in the comments. Please let me in. Yeah, is, is anybody going out? Yeah. Are you going out, Kaz? I am going to a dinner party, yes. Woohoo! Nice. That sounds fun. Yeah. I mean, who who gets invited to dinner parties anymore? Oh, it's a thing. Listen, yeah. it is a thing. The millennials love a dinner party, okay? Really? Okay. Yeah. You're having your own dinner party right here, Miss Ma'am. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking the Brussels sprouts. I've already washed all these. So I'm just cutting this little nubbin off here. Just cutting her off. All right, I'm going to move those potatoes over to the side, those taters. Bella says that, uh, Bella Bob says that they're celebrating at a dinner party too. Wow. I guess it is a thing. It is a thing. So I've already made some of these too, so I'm not going to do like a whole, whole bunch. Um, Lily, do you find me a Ziploc bag to put these in? Mm -hmm. There's one right in there. Don't eat all those cherries. Those are for the dessert. <laughs> Two so, hours to left, be left before midnight in the UK. Whoa. That's a, I love that. I love to hear that because that's pretty awesome. You guys are going to be in 2024 very soon. Bella Bops, I got a question for you. Uh, over here, there's a, um, uh, I don't know if it's called a tradition, but uh, every year for like the last 30 years, they have uh, uh, Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve, even though Dick Clark has been dead for 15 years. Um, uh, do they have anything like that on television in the UK that just comes on every single New Year's Eve? Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I would like to do that too. Oh, he says, yes, we do. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so I got all my stuff is cut in half here. I got my mixture here. I got to find another pan because I forgot that I already had a pan in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one I'm going to use. So if you're just scrolling through, please give Food Talk TV a follow on the screen. She trades off with me on Sundays. Yep. Uh, Andrea did last week, which was that's crazy. right. Actually, yeah, I wasn't there on Sunday, but I was also I was there on uh, Saturday and on Monday and on Wednesday. <laughs> so yeah, we've had a lot. Go You've had a lot of lines going on. So I'm just gonna use some parchment paper, which I'm almost at the end of my roll, so it's getting crazy looking. So I'm just gonna put that down on my baking sheet, whatever baking sheet that you're using. Um, put some parchment paper down on, okay? Um, next thing I'm going to need is some olive oil, which I should have had all this set up, but I didn't. Um, and where's my little bowl? Oh, here it is. I rinsed it out. That's why. So Bella Bob says that their show is called Hoot Nanny with Jules Holland, oh. and such a cool show with rock stars, musicians. Uh, great audience is usually, yeah, it sounds like the exact same show yeah, with different people. 
So I'm just using some good olive oil. It doesn't have to be extra virgin olive oil. Usually you would use just regular olive oil because extra virgin olive oil is really more for salads and stuff. Uh, the heavier olive oil is what you really want to use, but this is just what I had. So I didn't want to go out and buy more. So, um, so you can use a fork if you want to, which I probably will. So I don't mess my nails up. But anyway, just get a little fork or something. And you're just going to, man, that's washing me out again. That's crazy. Lily, turn this light off, I think. But anyway, I'm just dipping it in there and I'm coating the bottom of this. Yeah, it is that light. Just turn it all the way down. Okay, there, there we go. That is so much better. And I'm, yes. I don't need two. I just need one. Anyway, so um, this... You can turn that other light on in that room, though. I think so. You're only co uh, coating the open half. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just oh. the bottom. So you're gonna just, and we're just gonna put that right onto our parchment paper. And you're gonna do both. The um, it doesn't matter which one you do first, or if you want to do just Brussels sprouts, or you want to do just potatoes, you can do it either way. So I'm just gonna get all these done real quick. And they take about. Um, you're gonna put them on. Uh, 400 in your oven for about, oh, I gotta dip this first, um, about 30 to 40 minutes. And the reason I say 30 to 40 minutes is because it is based on how thick your stuff is. It is based on how your oven cooks. So after 30 minutes, you definitely need to start watching it. Right. So, in fact, I'm kind of nervous about mine right now because I want to go look at it so bad. Um, but Actually, uh, Ronnie, that is uh, uh, not breadcrumbs. That is a mixture of uh, uh, Parmesan cheese. Uh, uh, we've got and a bunch of spices, right? We have garlic. Yeah. So I've got um, garlic, onion, and then Italian herbs all mixed in there. But now you can put in some like pepper, some red pepper flakes. If you want a little spice in there, it's totally fine. And it doesn't matter if you have extra of this. It I'm going to show you how to, to hang on to that. Um, so we're just going to continue to dip all these. Get these done real quick. Normally I'm doing this like real fast. I'm usually doing it with my hands too, but I'm trying to keep my hands cleaner so that they're not, you know, because this Parmesan cheese does tend to get all up underneath your nails. So hi Michelle, Red Wagon Bakery. If you're not following Red Wagon Bakery, give her a follow. Yes, yeah, she's got a lot of inspirational talk. She has cookies. I mean, she makes cookies. She makes the most amazing thing, her cheesecakes, which I mean I need to get over there so I can give me some. Just saying. I am a cheesecake connoisseur. And I know if I lived closer, we would be quite good friends. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or you would be stalking her. I Either would be way. quite in her shop or wherever she's at or at her house being like, I need some cheesecake. <laughs> Michelle oh, says to come on over. Yeah, you're over in Illinois, I think. So I'm in Ohio, so we got a little, little distance between us, but not too much. All right, so I'm just going ahead and getting these done. And then and there's a reason for the bacon, and you'll see here in a minute. Okay. Um, not in a minute, in a bit. So do, we, um, bacon do, we, do we need a reason for the bacon? No, we never need a reason for bacon. Uh, hey, Bean Bean. What? I need two small jars. My sous chef is not very happy with me right now. She's like, what? <laughs> Just like those little, the little short ones that are about this big that I can put a lid on. Thank you. Look at that bush. Thank you for the 2024s. Oh, thank you for those. I, I threw that up there as the goal. Um, yeah, or even the shorter ones. That one will work for one thing. Okay, well, you can get a chair. Let's see. How many 2024s do we need? I think I was going for 100, but Let's yeah. Let's go for 100 of those. Huh? Yeah, I would like that because I'm probably going to ruin my shirt, but. Here. Hang on. Give me one second. Okay. Hang on. Lillian's like, you need to put your apron on. All right. Fine. <laughs> Cass is also like, you need to put your apron on. <laughs> <laughs> I just took mine off, actually. Oh, that's funny. Hang on here. Let me get it. Get myself in here. 
Ooh, there's half your goal already. Right, Thank you, Jeanette. Great. Thank you for everybody that contributed. That's amazing. Okay, Thank so you, Michelle. All right, I love that. Okay, so here we have all of our um, little stuff that we have. Um, so these are just red potatoes, and I put the uh, stuff underneath it. And we're going to go put this in a 400 degree oven and I said 30 to 40 minutes based on how thick yours are. So if you're using thicker slices of potato, guess what? It's going to take a little longer. So thank you, Rosina. Thank you, Bella Bops. Bella Bop, it says this is your first gift. Wow. Well, that's going Lynn, on. FTTV, baby. Love it. Thank you. Appreciate you so much. Okay. So. Um, like I said, the rest of this, you're like, oh, what do you do with that? Well, let me show you. Okay, let's see. So we're going to make this, we're going to take whatever's left, and we're going to add olive oil. The extra virgin olive oil, like I said, is more for like dressings and dips. Well, we're making a bread dip. So you just take your olive oil, you just mix that in there like that, like so, like that. And this makes an excellent dip for bread. So you know those little rolls and stuff? Oh, yes. Oh, it's so amazing. And I like to keep it in a oh. little jar like that. And Your go. goal has been achieved. Hi, Tanya. Thank you for coming in. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Jeanette is singing along with the song. Woo! Oh. Woo! <laughs> awesome. I love that. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is while that's baking, this is going to go, this little bread dip is actually going on my charcuterie board, and you'll see why. And okay. I have my charcuterie board set up here, and I'm going to show it all to you guys whenever we get it done. Producer, uh, thank you. But I have to show you a trick about the charcuterie board first. So this is 10 second cooking school. <laughs> yep, 10 second cooking school. Yep, this is gonna be it guys, get ready. I gotta move everything off of it first because I have this beautiful charcuterie board. Love it, have had it for a couple years. You've probably seen it in several of my videos. I absolutely adore this thing, but I hate washing it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so you, Phoenicia, for the gift. Here's your 10 second cooking school, okay? All right, you ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. You guys are gonna love this one. Okay. Oh! Nice and seal! <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to wash it. <laughs> oh my God, yes, y'all. Just lay it down there. Yes, that definitely has to be a 10 second cooking school. Heck yeah! This is the best ever. And I like to double it up because I like to go over to the side. So, you, know. you guys, if you don't know about our 10 second cooking schools, if you go to Food Talk TV uh, to our page, there's a playlist called 10 second cooking school. I believe there's about 60 uh, 10, second, uh, 10 second cooking schools there. There you go. So now, when you put all your little awesome stuff on here, it's not seeping in there and it, it you still have to clean it, but you don't have so much scrubbing to do. <laughs> that wants to know if that sticks to the board. It is not sticking to the board um, unless you like stick, it kind of sticks to itself. But when I lay this stuff on, I guess saran wrap would work too, or even um, aluminum foil, but just covering it with anything is gonna be so much more helpful for you guys. So, okay, one thing, so I got my little bread dip there, putting that on, and then um, I'm gonna cut up some vegetables. Let me get this out of the way. We'll get all this you stuff. Guys, if you're just scrolling through, please give Food Talk TV a, a follow. And that is Christine. She is October Dragonfly on her own channel. Yes, I am. All right, I'm gonna throw these guys on there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some peppers on there. I already have them ready to go. She and cooks for us every other Sunday night. These little tomatoes, which I'm gonna wash them, don't worry. Y'all don't worry. It's my house anyway, so, you know. <laughs> Angie says if you dampen the paper or the dampen the pick the seal a little bit, it will stick. Oh, okay. Well, I'll try that here in a minute. All right. So what I'm making next is the Texas Roadhouse 
ranch dressing. Okay, it is the recipe. It is the recipe. So here's what it is. You got, what's the score of the game? If y'all don't know, I'm a Bengals fan. So um, one cup of buttermilk. And if you don't have buttermilk, you can make your own. All right. I don't know how Kaz does. <laughs> DJ Big Lou. Okay. And then where is, I've got all my ingredients are everywhere. Lily, you need to be putting this stuff away for me, sis. Okay. A teaspoon you it. dill. If you guys, uh, if you guys love, uh, love DJs, DJ Big Lou, give him a follow. He had a hot set today. Hot set. Okay. Now I am using Duke's mayonnaise. There is a big controversy. People love it or they hate it. Anything over here, this crescent seal, all that olive oil, you can put all that away for me. That would be so amazing. All right. So I'm putting one cup of mayonnaise. Now my mayonnaise that I'm using is Duke's, like I said. And um, if you have a different mayonnaise, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's whatever you want to use. But what I'm using is the one that has a hint of lime in it. Oh. If you don't okay. have this one, guess what? Tablespoon of lime juice does the same thing. All right. Because that's actually what the recipe is. It's mayonnaise, one cup of mayonnaise. They don't say what kind. It's just mayonnaise. I'm sure, you know, in the restaurant business, it's whatever they can get a hold of. And then one tablespoon of lime juice. All right. So we're going to put that in there. But you conveniently found the lime and the mayo all in the same same bottle. It wasn't really a convenience. It was more of a happy accident. <laughs> ah, okay. Then also, we're going to put in a ranch packet. Yeah, it's a ranch packet. Totally fine. That's what they use, a ranch packet. And it does have dill in it, but just a little bit more dill is in the recipe. And then, the, um, and so. When I worked at Chili's, Chili's has ranch for everything. And their recipe uh, was a, uh, was two gallons of um, buttermilk, a gallon of mayonnaise, and a giant ranch packet. Oh my gosh, that's funny. So, um, so far I have one cup of buttermilk, one cup of mayonnaise, one ranch packet, a teaspoon or whatever you want of uh, dill, the dill weed. And then um, I'm putting in two tablespoons of yeah, sour, uh, cream. sour cream, but you can also use Greek yogurt if you want to, but um, they use sour cream. So anywho, I need to find, well, like, where's my whisk these days? I don't know where it's at. That's weird. All right, so we're gonna give this a stir. I need to find my whisk. Hang on one second. It's gotta be in here. Girl, I need that. What the heck? These kids. I need it so it doesn't make it lumpy. Can you help me find it? Lily, can you help me find it? I'm looking around, I don't see it. My dishwasher? in the dishwasher. Anyway, you need to stir this until it's smooth. Thank you, Matt. That's, that's the, um, that's the recipe. Oh, so that's the recipe, y'all. Oh, now you got something going on. I don't either. Give me the small one if you find one over there. I need a larger, uh, the mason jar, like the regular size one. So I can put the ranch in it. Yeah. That one wouldn't work. Yeah, that would work. Thank you. All right. So you get a little container like this, sponsored by Lillian. Thank you so much. Okay, so I didn't end up needing my whisk. It it came out pretty smooth, but it's you're looking for this consistency. There you go. That looks beautiful. Front quality, right there, baby. Oh yeah. So we're gonna get that, and we're gonna put that into our mason jar. Guys, I'm not using a funnel, so wish me luck. I should, I should be. You know, you know, you already know. If you know, you know. 
you know, you know. You guys, thank you for uh, for watching Food Talk TV. If you're just scrolling through, please give us a follow. Andrea says, uh, use a funnel because she don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know that I'll, I'll be making messes up in here, for sure, for 1,000%. Let me go get a, um, a little container to put on my charcuterie board with one of my little scoopulas here, a little spatula. I got this little, cute little Snoopy one. We'll use that. Are those uh, bingo socks you have on? It is. They're my lucky bingo socks. Mm-hmm. Sure are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man, that is so good. It's really the lime in it that makes it. I'm telling yeah. you guys, it's just a tablespoon of lime. That's all you need. So Isn't that crazy? Texas Roadhouse. You know, I, I think I'm going to learn all of their recipes before I ever visit one. I know. So we have had a uh, a little bit of banter about the Texas Roadhouse because it, the first one ever opened up in the mall that I used to work in. And I worked there when it opened. And one of my favorite things when I was pregnant with my oldest daughter was their salad yeah. and their dressing. So this dressing. Ooh. It brings me back. Thank you, Gloria K. Thank you for the gifts. You guys follow Gloria K. Uh, last week, uh, Gloria K. and Rogue 80, 8588 did a uh, du duet Christmas special. It was so awesome. It was so awesome because they're both fabulous musicians. That's awesome. I love that. All right, let's bring this little filler back. Beep, beep. You know what? It never fails. Like, I always get like a tomato or a potato that always has like something wrong with it. Which, I mean, it ain't nothing wrong with it really, but. Ain't nothing. I gotta cut that part off. But it's just irritating. You know? Let me get some of this stuff out of here. All right. And if you guys want to know, my trash can's right here. I'm not throwing it in the floor. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and her trash can has a name. Its name is Icky. Yeah, no, but that's my, my <laughs> he's in there. <laughs> Let's wash these tomatoes off for y'all. He's going to rinse them off real quick. Icky is normally standing in that, uh, in that space right next to the dishwasher. He really is usually right here. Um, <laughs> but his, uh, you know, it's almost his dinner time. Um, his dad just got home from work, so. Uh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just going to cut these tomatoes. I'm just quartering these tomatoes for my charcuterie board. I'm not really doing anything with them. They're just going on there just because I know my people like tomatoes. Mm -hmm. real quick. You guys, this is Food Talk TV. Also, uh, October, October, October Dragonfly goes out live on her own channel every once in a while. She yeah. is a member of FTTV. Oh, yeah. That's right, every once in a while. Uh, so I just went through my very busy season at my uh, little coffee shop slash, um, so I just made that look cute like that. Um, coffee slot shop slash candy shop. I work for the oldest candy cane company in the US. So that's why I was real busy this last few weeks. <laughs> Okay, save these guys. If you have chickens, they love this. You can also chop this up for soups and stuff. Don't throw this away. It's fine. You got a little broccoli cheddar soup action going on. Mm. Jolly boys, country cooking. What's up? Hey, how are you? I see you guys. I see you. I'm just throwing some of this big broccoli on here. It's not going to be all of it. Hey, Lily, I need you again to put this stuff in the... So I'm just putting all this stuff into two separate um ziploc bags so all right so the next thing so you don't need the rest of that broccoli i don't i just put a little bit out there because there's going to be a lot on this charcuterie board by the time it's all said and done okay. i also need to check my other batch oh yeah they're done this is um i need you to put this in a um ziploc you guys tap the screen let's see if we can get up to 10,000 likes that would be awesome okay uh, I'm trying to get my well-loved pizza stone out of here with one hand. Oh, it's not used. It's not huh? Loved. It is loved. 
back in there. That poor pizza stone has been through too much. This is what those look like after. So I already had a batch in. So this is what those um, potatoes and wow. the Brussels sprouts look like after they're done. So I had a batch in there, guys, just to let you know. And these are done. You can tell because they're kind of wrinkled up a little bit. They'll be fork tender. So I'm going to set these on the uh, stove to let those cool. Put that bacon in for just like You know what, Gloria Kay, uh, cooking shows are primarily for people who like to watch people cook. Or they like food. <laughs> Yeah, or they just like looking at food. Don't worry if you never make it, if you'll never make it. Yeah, it's all right. I'll make it. <laughs> Kaz will make it. Somebody will make it. That's right. We'll make it. So now, Lillian, this is where I'm going to have you um, cook this up real quick. So I'm just using, um, so we usually use a Posca kielbasa, but they had this turkey smoked sausage on sale. Um, so I'm going to use that instead of a posca kielbasa, which typically we have some kind of pork on New Year's Day, which is kind of like um, a tradition. People yes. like, um, what is it, corned so, beef? So I'll, I'll tell you the pork, the pork tra tradition is that pigs only eat while they're moving forward. Oh. So you want to move forward in the new year, so you use pork. And uh, thank you, Jane, for watching us and Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives at the same time um, the skillet. I just think but, I'll, but i'll bet you guy fieri isn't talking back to you huh <laughs> and if he is please call family or someone like, oh right. my gosh how cool <laughs> um, yeah i'm done with that thank you such so is helpful <laughs> now can you put all these things away that would be awesome she's not happy <laughs> i'm gonna have you watch this um so I'm just putting this into a skillet over here and I'm gonna have Lillian watch this. Um, probably should have sprayed that a little bit, but it's probably got enough fat in it. It'll be fine. Pierogi, welcome in. Thank you for coming in, Pierogi. I remember the first time he came in. <laughs> now look at him, he's a regular. He's right. a regular. Even though we cannot read his name, yeah. we know who he is. <laughs> but Lillian's gonna take this over and she's gonna um, just saute this um on i'm gonna say kind of like medium low say can uh can lillian come into the camera and say hello to everybody yes we say hello you just too. so that everybody knows who you're talking to yeah. <laughs> uh this here is lillian and she's gonna be over there at the at the stove <laughs> all right she looks like uh she's in indentured servitude or something what's, what's going on <laughs> She said she is. Listen, listen at her. I keep trying to sit down. I get called back every five minutes. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm like, I could not put this show on without my teenagers. I'm telling you that right now. They do help me a lot. And so if you guys don't think I'm giving them credit, I 100% do. And they destroy my food afterwards. In fact, sometimes Lane doesn't even wait till the live ends. As with the, um, what was it? The uh, gingerbread houses. He was tearing the roof off before we got done. <laughs> Crazy. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go back down here for just a second because Jane says, uh, happy one, two, three, one, two, three, because that's the date today. Oh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Crazy. I didn't even think about that. That's awesome. All right. So, I'm just going to sweep all this up real quick and we're going to start again on the next thing which is i need a different mat all right so i had to, I had to get rid of that mat because i uh, cut meat on it so she's done i already rinsed those okay so we're going to do a little dessert Ooh, Sara Lee pound cake. I know you can't go wrong with a Sara Lee pound cake now i like getting these from sam's club because they are twice the length so there's more, and that means that the teen, you know the teen boy is going to um, ah there's something green on there. <laughs> it's just broccoli, guys. I'm trying to feed you broccoli in your pound cake. What? I am. I'm not. I'm not. I promise. <laughs> she really thought I was. The cinnamon. Yeah, it's got cinnamon on it, Lillian. There's like kind of like an end for me. Just yeah, end. done. Lillian's like, I just need the end, Mom. Just cut me the end. Here, 
it's got a little um there you go there you go Lillian there you go she was like I need that <laughs> okay so which is actually kind of helpful because the ends are always kind of ugly so I don't know if you guys know this or not but on the Sara Lee pound cakes um like this one says it's one fourth there's four servings in here did you guys know that technically these marks are serving marks even though that means that you have one extra serving it's because they expect you to cut the ends off but For Lillian. yeah but these are actually servings marks which okay. wild and then also they're in the bread ah hi indian woman yes uh guy is pretty awesome and uh yeah uh, we appreciate you coming in pierogi says that he did not know that about the um about the lines yeah neither did jane this is just hey, hey. <laughs> <Robert>. <laughs> i see a robber in here you guys well it's not going to matter anyway because um i'm actually going to uh do some little desserts here for my fam real quick and it's just going to be um what are those trifoly type situation so i'm just going to cut these up into cubes just cube them up i don't think i've bought a sarah lee pound cake in such a long time really and they're awesome they are so awesome they're they so are awesome and rich you know that's like um a year ago about this time everybody was uh doing these uh cinnamon bun hacks with all the extra cream Oh, yeah. And my thought is, uh, do they think that Cinnabon doesn't know how to make cinnamon, cinnamon rolls? I mean, no, some, sometimes to you just can't beat the package stuff. Okay. You can't, <laughs> if you go to, if you go to the mall, uh, and you want a cinnamon roll, you're going to go to the Cinnabon. Okay. That's you know? true. So I'm just cubing this bad boy up guys. Cube it up however you want. All right, mine's getting all wild here now. Jane, yes, she's making a trifle, kind of a trifle. Kind of like a trifle. It's just like some pound cake. I'm going to put some fruit on it. You know, I'm saving this last piece because I'm going to use it as a topper. I'm just trying to make sure they're kind of evenish. Um, Lillian loves cherries, but I'm putting raspberries in here and some cherries. So raspberries, you put whatever fruit, like, if you want to use blueberries or something like that, oh my gosh, do that. But this is just for, you know, a little something, a little something extra. So only one of those bowls is actually in the picture. Right. But I'm making four. <laughs> I'm making four. Here they are. They are all here. <laughs> making them all, guys. Everybody. Jane says lovely and... Jeanette says that she loves raspberries. Man overboard. Okay, here we go. Get it back in there. Get it back in there. All right. And then um, Lillian loves cherries. So we're going to get some cherries in here. Which we needed to be. Are those whole cherries? They are whole cherries. So we have to pit them. So I'm just doing a few because, listen, she's going she's gonna to tear through that bag before we get to it. So I'm just doing a little bit for everybody. I'm going to put these over here. But anyway, you can put them the hard way, which is just put them in half. Ah! And you're not going to like stick a straw through it like you did your exactly what strawberries, I was are you? That's exactly what I was thinking, but I was like, uh, I don't know if I want to do all that today. So, because also, I don't, I think it would make a mess. So, we're just putting a few in here. Rogi. Uh, what she's making actually would go good with pineapple. Oh my gosh, yes. You can put pineapple in this. That would be delicious. Mm hmm. Really, what jello pack do you have over there? You guys, you're watching Food Talk TV. If you're just scrolling through, please give us a follow. We go live for you every single day, sometimes twice a day. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought there was jello. Um, a good thing to add to this if you want to, you can put like a little bit of like mix up a jello pack, just one for all four of these, and put like a little jello on it. Makes it like a poke cake, but like 
in a trifle sort of way. You know what I mean? So okay. I'm not doing that, but Advance is asking, where can you find the recipe for this? Oh, this this I'm making this up on the fly right now. <laughs> You're gonna look at Food Talk TV though. I was like, this is just a simple, really quick, you know, you got somebody coming over. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. Um, this is something easy you can do. Um, my next trick though, hang on here. So I just put any kind of fruit. It doesn't matter. Pound cake, fruit. You guys got that part, right? Right. Pound cake and fruit. Pound cake and fruit. Uh, we okay. So Indian woman, if you uh, if you give us a follow and then hit the little bell, you'll be notified every time we come we come on. We do come on different times of the day. We have a schedule at foodtalktv.com. That's our website, and you can find out who's coming on, what what days and what times, uh, pretty much all week long. Right, and I did go on early. Typically, I go on around um, seven eight o'clock. Um, depends on your time zone. Seven o'clock um, um, Eastern Standard Time. All right, can you put that in the microwave for 30 seconds? So what I'm having Lillian do right now is take, um, I have a jar of um, fruit um, jam, any kind. You can do strawberry, blueberry, blackberry, whatever your jam is. You get it? Your jam, whatever it's your <laughs> <laughs> um, whatever your jam is and you put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds um, I have about like this much so about a half a cup that's going to be plenty for all of this and I'm going to stir this into all of this then I'm going to put whipped cream on top and boom you have a dessert boom oh, sorry girl my bad I just knocked Lily's phone out of her hand I'm sorry oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she's traumatized oh yes. my god i saw the best yes, sticker the other day it says put your phone down so we can do things with two hands like we used to in the olden days <laughs> what flavor is this this is blackberry mm. this smells really good so i need to melt it down a little bit more and this is a preserves Pierogi, I did. Yes. Lillian is over here eating everything. <laughs> Very nice. All right, let me get this out. I got to. I put my bacon back in because I needed to crisp up a little bit more. All right. So, Christy. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna ask people in the audience here. Do you guys know the difference between jam or preserves? and jelly okay butterscotch says no oh thank you You're the best. jeanette says nope rhonda says texture jane says not really okay texture. so the difference between jelly and the other group was, which is uh, jam and uh, preserves, is that jelly has no fruit in it. That's right. Jelly has no fruit. Jelly has no fruit. It has just the fruit juice. So yes. Fruit. But it has no fruit, like the actual fruit. The fruit juice is part of the fruit. Um, okay. <laughs> Lillian's like, but fruit juice is part of the fruit, guys. <laughs> I don't know. This girl, Tony. Yes. All right. Um, all, all the fruit is strained out of it. Only thing you're left with is uh, juice and pectin. Yep, that's it. We don't have any paper plates. Oh no. Because I need something to drain this bacon on. All right. Here's our bacon. It's ready. Good and crispy. Love it on the edge of burnt, but not Yes, burnt. Jane, that's how they make jalapeno chili. Exactly. Ooh, this is hot as Hades. Should have used my oven mitt. Okay. Okay, what are we doing? So what I am doing is, 
Bring on my oven mitt. <laughs> I'm not trying to burn myself today. And I'm pouring some of this seedless blackberry preserve. Mmm, so good. Over the top of this. So we're just pouring it over. And that was thinned down in the microwave. That's the reason why there's steam coming off of it. Yeah, it's melted. It's hot. And you can put a little fruit juice in this if you want it to uh, be more thin. Uh -huh. lost, but I'm like looking for that jam consistency. So there you go. A little, bit, little bit of that. Well, that's it. Natural that's gelatin. It. Gelatin is actually an animal product, but uh, pectin. It's a thickener. Yes. Yeah, which is a fruit product. Um, okay, my oven's going off. Let's see what it wants. Hmm. Let's see here. I'm gonna look at these guys in here. Mm. Can you get that off, please? And that is the second batch of my Brussels sprouts done with Looks my- Looks as good as the first batch. Yep, yeah, they're beautiful. Um, I'm gonna sit this right here. Thank you. All right, so everything's starting to come together. This is my dessert. Um, all I'm gonna do now is just um, kind of chop this, what time is it? Oh, okay. I'm going to chop this up a little bit. You'll see why here in a second. And I, I did spill some of the uh, cherry juice on, on one of these little pieces. Cherry juice stains, guys. <laughs> it sure does. All right. And what it's I am going to do. Oh, there it is. is When's the last time the dog uh, Earlier today. I'm going to walk in the house. Okay. Okay. So all you do now. Is your whipped cream. Put a couple of pieces of this on there. There you go. Nice. Nice. Yes. There you go. It's it doesn't take a lot to make people happy, guys. Just a little bit of jam. It doesn't sweet. take a lot, just a lot of sugar. Yeah, I'm gonna sweeten it up a little bit. It's fine. And I do like that Polan Polaner all fruit because it is all actually all fruit. Yes. There's some pectin in there. I really do like that one a lot. But anywho, there you go. That's my dessert. Super simple. Runny girl, Runny girl says she loves fruit, and I can tell you that's just beautiful. It is good. It's so simple. Guys, just some jam, some pound cake, and some fruit. And it doesn't even matter what kind of fruit you use. You can use any kind of fruit. Like I think pierogi said pineapple. Oh my gosh, pineapple would be amazing in there. Mm. Here you go. You want that? Jane, I am in Texas and Christine is in Ohio. Cincinnati, I'm in Cincinnati, guys. All righty, I'm gonna get some of this stuff cleared up here. I think I'm just about ready to start putting some stuff together, except I need to do, we need to put the drink together. You saw my little dog. <laughs> I want to put my drink together um, if, if it's frozen. So I'm, I've got a little section that has to be frozen. And so I'm hoping, I mean, it's pretty frozen. <laughs> so um, basically what I did here was I sliced up some oranges and I put orange juice over the top of this and I froze it. Okay, guys, that's what's happening here. Okay. All right. I, you know, you tell me you were going to do this, but I didn't picture that being really pretty. I didn't know. Oh, wow. Thanks, Kaz. No, 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 no. I That's not what I meant. I, I didn't know that you were actually putting the oranges in there. You asked me how long if orange juice would freeze. Yeah, I so said, how long does it take for orange juice to freeze? I'm like, I have no idea. But anyway, um, I only froze this like an hour and a half ago. So typically this would be a square that would look like this. All right. Okay. And then, what are you doing, Bean? Thanks again. All right. And then for your little drink that you're going to make tonight for your party, you can use Prosecco or you can use sparkling wine or champagne if it's from the region of champagne am i going to need uh safety goggles for this you're not going to aim it at me i'm actually going to show you guys how to open your bottles don't be dumb 
<laughs> Don't be doing some crazy stuff with the knife, okay? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, are you gonna get a uh, get a sword? No. <laughs> I totally opened that with my teeth, but I didn't do it on camera because I don't want you guys to see that. All right, so we're going to throw that away. You're going to unwrap the lid. I'm scared, guys. Don't be scared. It's not so loud. <laughs> Jane Jones, I'm with you. She what? says that she heard a Long Island iced tea goes uh, good over oranges and lemon. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It sounds really good. All right, so the first thing you're going to do on the champagne bottle is you're going to see this little tab right here this is gonna help you unscrew the top so you need to take this little metal cap off okay before you do anything this little metal cap is what holds the cork in until it swells up enough to stay in now all you're going to need is a towel that's it that's it all you're gonna need and you are not going to pull it off or do any cr craziness like this, okay? Guys, this is your 10 second cooking, your second 10 <laughs> second cooking school for you guys, okay, ready? All you're gonna do is you take your towel, this is a thin one, I usually use a thicker one, but um, you take this and you twist. That's all you do. That's it? And that's been your 10 second cooking <laughs> school. <laughs> And you don't shake it because guess what's going to happen? It's going to get crazy. Here, throw that right in here. Lillian has done cooked all of the sausages for us. Okay. So we're almost ready to do the charcuterie board. But I want to show you this drink. So literally frozen orange juice and frozen oranges. Jeanette says, wait, where's Oryx? Because this is normally Oryx kind of deal. I know. Yes. It's so pretty. It's like a little mimosa and yes. it's mini. Look how beautiful that is. Now, can you make this with uh, Welch's sparkling grape juice? Absolutely. You guys can make this as a virgin drink all day long because the oranges and orange juice have no alcohol in it. You can pour whatever you like over the top of it. But it's so pretty and you can also put like if you want to do a little festive situation you put some little cranberries in there that's really good too so i'm going to try this because i know it's already good uh, I'm, I'm ready for that drink honey <laughs> that's right <laughs> so isn't that so cool yes and then the oranges just unfold so okay back to the charcuterie board because that was a simple drink that was a simple dessert Put your, uh, put your oranges back in the freezer. Yeah. Oh, here. Would you please put that back in the freezer? Thank you. Lillian's like, uh, she's already having food. Okay. She's already got the ranch. She's already got, <laughs> she's got everything going on. Oh, pieces of pound cake. Yeah. She's like, I'm eating. You can't stop me. Lily, can you grab that yellow uh, mat? Just throw it in the washer, the dish in the dishes. All right. So I'm moving this back over. You guys, if you're just scrolling through, please give us a follow. This is Food Talk TV. We go live for you every day. That's Christine. She's Hello. October Dragonfly. My name is Kaz. All right, we're we about are, ready. We are FTTV. All right. Uh oh, I made a mess. I made a mess. Imagine this. I got jelly on my crescent seal. How dare I? Bonnie wants to know if you have any pomegranates. Uh, pomegranates would be amazing in this. I love pomegranates. Like little, the little pomegranate seeds in there would be so good. Yum. All day long. Um, I need a little, these little plates. Here we go. There we go. Alrighty then. And I need, where's my toothpicks? Okay. I got these little food picks. They, and what's the difference between a toothpick and a food pick? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Just like this flat on one end and it's... <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> what the heck? Y'all wilding out. I don't know what that was. <laughs> That's crazy. And, oh. oh, no, everybody else seems to know. They said that it's uh, uh, the ends 
uh, whether they're sharp or not. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> that is hundred percent. Mary Cat Dat. We haven't seen you in a while. Hi. Hi. I'm just gonna throw some bacon on here because you know bacon is love. You know it. I got my little stuff there, and then we're gonna bring pull off. I'm gonna put these little dudes in here. Put my little bites in here, and I'm just doing it barehanded. Jeanette says a food pick has one end that's flat. That's right. That is a hundred percent. I'm like, unless you just really need a toothpick, <laughs> and then it doesn't matter, does it? Then it doesn't matter. Then it doesn't matter. Uh, so, Jane is asking whether you like spicy foods or not. I love spicy food. Oh my gosh, yes. A million times yes. <laughs> so I'm just putting these, look at those. Oh yeah. That is the bottom of my yummy, yummy potatoes. So we're just putting all that in there. I'm gonna show you guys the perfect bite too. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I can't wait, I'm so excited. So I got two pans worth, so there's plenty to go around. Um, where is, oh, here it is, right here. Um, also, Lily, do we have those crackers still on here? You're right, Jane. Uh, those peppers, those sweet uh, peppers, mm -hmm. if they were cut in half and they had uh, uh, cream cheese, okay. yes. And everything but the bagel seasoning. But I intend on putting them in this ranch dressing. <laughs> A thousand percent. So we got some little mini naan here. Okay, because I love some naan. I have a 10 minute cooking school. What's that? So if you're like me. She said a 10 minute cooking school, first of all. A 10 second cooking school, guys. Hang on. Please hold. We need to. All right. Ready? A second cooking school. If you're weak like me and you can't open this, like, I'm trying. I can't with this. I already know what I she's doing. This is what I do when I'm home alone because I just don't feel like getting stronger. <laughs> are, wait, wait, are those? <laughs> put the channel locks, y'all. Channel locks. Put it like this. Come on, I can't hold this. <laughs> but you're home alone okay. by yourself. Hi, Anna. By yourself. You get it? Hold on. Or you just ask your mom? Well, whenever I'm by myself, my mom isn't there. So, all right, so you get it? Boom. Done. Boom. See? 10 second cooking school. Get some channel locks, kids. <laughs> um, they said they love your shirt. Oh, thank you. What is on your shirt? I don't even know. Star Wars. Oh, her Star Wars shirt. That's I a good one. Okay. Oh, she did. She she did thrift it from um we have a company here called St. Vincent de Paul. It's like Goodwill. So it is a very it's like Goodwill, but like way better. So way better um so i'm gonna put some garlic hummus on this tray as well christine okay. how could you fit more oh but we can don't you worry friends we're gonna fit some. Lillian, butterscotch 11 says done and done thank you awesome You're welcome. actually i'm gonna put this little bacon's right in here i'm gonna put that bacon right in there you are done all right i'm gonna go back down to the charcuterie board we're almost done we're almost all right. Also, any is it even a charcuterie board if it doesn't have cheese? No. No. No, no it is not. So hang on here. I'll get my. Nana says that they're making French dips soon. Yes. Ooh. Yum. Nana is always cooking in her house. Heck yeah. Sounds good. All right, so guys, um, this week at Kroger, they had on sale their little cheese slices. Usually I go for like the brick because you get a little bit more, but they had their cheese slices on sale too for $4. So um, I'm just taking the short route yep. and we're gonna just do that. We're not gonna have to slice our cheese, it's already sliced. And hang on here. Yeah. Open. You guys ever have trouble opening those seals if they're not exactly correct? I do. I sure do. All right. Take this beautiful. 
Oh, Lily, where is my, um, get the roast beef and the, um, what was that? Um, salami. Yeah. Thank you. I totally forgot about the salami. Guys, we got to make a salami rose. Come on. Salami rose. Yeah. You, I know you guys have seen it. Come on. All right. So we got... Brogy, Brogy notices that everything is adult proof these days. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Pretty much. Lillian is almost an adult. And she also thinks it's adult proof. <laughs> All right. So I got Havarti. And then I got some Colby, Jack, no, Cheddar Jack, and then Provolone. So some different cheeses. I also have, because I know for a fact my men and my family are going to want to make this stuff into a sandwich because they don't understand charcuterie without bread so <laughs> I got some, uh pretzel buns for them so that it's they all really just a slider bar it is it really is um what was the other thing i was going to put here where'd it go where'd it go oh, i got some cucumber uh, salami oh yeah my salami rose where did it go Where'd she put it? Oh, right next to me. Oh my gosh, if it was a snake, it would have bit me, guys. All right. So I got these cute little things. I'm going to put all these little cheeses in on here. And I found these over at Kroger. They're ridiculously cute. They look like little bread bins. Yep. Isn't that cute? Yes. I'm not here like, oh, it's so adorable. Oh, here comes Icky. Right here. <laughs> Jane Jane Jones says that seasoned nuts would be great to do that with too. Yes. Okay. In fact, uh, we have a bag, but we are just a family of four eating this. So you guys definitely make your charcuterie board into whatever you want. Okay, so we're gonna get into this uh, salami rose. So I'm just using this little shot glass. It's small, but you guys can use um, just. Like you want it to be like no more than two inches around, okay? And the reason is, is because it's just gonna get crazy. Now, if you want a big one, you go for it. I'm just, I don't need all that. Cause like I said, it's just a family of four eating this. So um, how you start it is you just put that in and you flop it over the edge. So you see what I did there? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna do that all the way around. Now that's sandwich salami, right? Yes, it is. Okay. And you can use pepperoni or any other kind of round meat that's about that big. <laughs> All right. And we're going to kind of push it in. How's the game, Jerry? Uh, it was 17. Uh, okay. I'm going to push it out, I mean, because that's the outside. What am I doing? Okay, so then we're going to go do it again. And you're going to do it until you can't do it no more. Guys, what is your favorite thing to eat on New Year's Day? It's not Taco Bell, Jerry. <laughs> Taco Bell. Yes, you had a hard night of drinking. Dang. <laughs> He's like Taco Bell. What do you guys like? Wings. Oh, yeah. Wings is a good one. Guys, I had this sandwich the other day. It was so good. It was basically like a buffalo dipped chicken breast, but it was like wing style. And then um, they put gorgonzola cheese on it and then a bacon coleslaw, which I need to figure out so fast. Okay, Harold says wings. Um, Jeanette says ham and cabbage. User with a lot of numbers says black eyed peas. Yes, I have your black eyed peas. I actually do. They're right here. I gotta rinse them off. The Yorkshire Indian is in the house. Thank you for the gifts, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. What is up? I don't think Bobby's ever been on one of my lives. I love it. I know. Yeah. This is late for him. Oh, that's right. It's uh, He's staying up for New Year's. All right, so here's your little black eyed peas. And they're already cooked, guys. You don't need to cook them. 
Anyway, there they are. I, I'm so glad you mentioned that because I did forget about those. Okay, so we have these layers. You guys saw me put all the layers on there, right? Yes. Okay, so it kind of, I could probably go a few more layers, but all you do is just hold it like this and you turn it upside down and you just gently take no. it. No. That's it. That's all. I did not see that coming. That's it. That is. I did not see that coming. <laughs> and then you just snuggle her in there. There you go. And that is my charcuterie board. Wow. I, wait a minute, I forgot my cucumbers. I forgot my cucumbers in there. I'm going to throw my cucumbers in here. Like, like so, like that. Yeah. That's it. Are you amazed, Kaz? <laughs> wow. You're like, wow. How about that? Anyway, let me get my little cucumbers. I forgot. I forgot the cucumbers. I always am forgetting something. Right, Kaz? <laughs> always. <laughs> All right. We are always forgetting something. I can shove them in here. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right. All right. So, guys, I'm going to take you on the grand tour of my charcuterie board. That, there that it is. salami rose blew me away. So, we have the salami rose. We have some black-eyed peas, which I'll put a little spoon in so you can have some of that. We have your cabbage which uh, is a tradition usually for um, our household anyway, some type of cabbage, whether it be sauerkraut, cabbage itself, or Brussels sprouts. We have the little potatoes with the, then these are all both crusted with the same mixture. Mm, they're so good. And then we got some Posca kielbasa, which and actually is a turkey one, and some bacon, because you gotta have pork. We got some naan with hummus, and then some veggies. And then I also made the bread dip, which has uh, Parmesan cheese, um, garlic and onion powder and Italian seasoning, which is the same seasoning that we used on these guys. And then some assorted cheeses and then of course assorted vegetables. And that was my charcuterie board. So now let's taste some of this stuff because, oh man. Oh, and we also made a drink. Uh, hello, thank you for the heart hands, Yorkshire, you, you bobby thank you <laughs> i love it okay so i was telling you about the perfect bite so in my brain the per i cannot stand when my cabinets are open <laughs> yeah if i do a video and my cabinets are open a i didn't notice it and b it, i will notice it later so <laughs> oh thank you um so my perfect bite is the little piece of um posca kielbasa and the cabbage, you're gonna put that together, like so, like this, and you're gonna use a food pick to put that together. And then, of course, you have to have bacon because bacon is love. And we're gonna stack, what? Is that gonna work? No, that's not gonna work, hang on. I need a different piece of bacon because it is very crunchy. Listen. Yep. Mm, I love our crunchy bacon, okay, guys? That's my favorite. Okay, so I got bacon, Polka, Polska kielbasa, or just kielbasa. And then um, some of that um, Brussels sprout, and then a potato. Isn't that like the perfect little? Yes, that is, a, that is a perfect bite. Wait, wait, we gotta make it like New Year's Eve because you know, we gotta have black eyed peas. Oh, Put your oh, little black eyed peas on the end. There we go. <laughs> there you go. And that's the perfect bite. I cannot bite this whole thing. This is too big. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good. Mm. Thank you, Bobby, for the gifts. Mm. I'm telling you right now. Number one, thank you guys for those gifts. But number two, this right here. You can put that crust on any kind of vegetable. It's so good. It's got that Italian seasoning in it. And then the saltiness of the Parmesan. You don't even need anything else. It's Jane, she roasted the potatoes and the um, Brussels sprouts at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did. And um, I used olive oil and... Um, Parmesan cheese and Italian seasonings mixed together to coat on the bottom of that. And then um, I used, whoopsie, um, 
<laughs> you guys know already. You already know some stuff is happening in my life. And then for your bread dip, you can just use that same situation, just more olive oil. Mm. Or you could you can take those little nuns and dip it into the uh, ranch that you just made too. Oh my gosh, we're getting there. Mm -hmm. mm. The ranch is the Texas Roadhouse Ranch. Okay, what it is is one cup of mayonnaise, one cup of buttermilk, one cup of a ranch packet, and a, a teaspoon of dill. You can use measure with your heart on that and two tablespoons of sour cream and you just look at the consistency that's what you're after is that consistency right there yes that right there mm. thank you for the gifts guys the gifts help us do this every day for you guys and it's lime a teaspoon where's a tablespoon tablespoon of lime juice in there that is what makes it that is what makes it this restaurant quality restaurant texas roadhouse tasting deliciousness mm. oh yeah all day long all right guys i'll have to do a TikTok about this it's super simple i think it went around last year but a little salami rose that you can just pull a piece off i just didn't see that coming <laughs> surprise was, but um that one guys, really blew me away well i'm so glad that i could for you i'm eating some hummus and salami yum um and enjoying my mimosa that we froze the orange juice and made the most beautiful little blocks i'll have to do a little video on that one too um you guys can check that out on my page over at october dragonfly which is um up in the captions up here um thank you guys so much for joining my live tonight Oh, I forgot our simple little dessert. You guys can find links to all of our creators. Just go to the link in the bio. Okay. And that's the trifle. Oh, yeah. You guys, I mean, all this tonight. So um, anything that was left over, we will eat again tomorrow. Listen, we eat it till it's gone here. So we freeze it. We refrigerate it. We repurpose it. It all gets used. Um, thank you so much, Jane Jones. I will try to get those recipes to Kaz as soon as possible, but be mindful that it is New Year's Eve night. I know he has a dinner party to go to and I have no idea what I'm doing. So um, thank you guys so much for coming into the live tonight. Thank you for all the likes, shares, and all of the love. I appreciate it. And I know Kaz does as well. And thank you for following Food Talk TV. And we'll see you guys on the next one. This has been Sunday Night Live. Bye. Bye.